that's a big question, right? <laughs> environmental science is so diverse that you can do so many different things and yeah. I was so passionate about everything that I didn't have a clear idea of my ideal job. Do you think yourself at age 20 would be surprised by where you've ended up? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think so because initially before I studied environmental sciences I even wanted to be a dentist. Mm -hmm. So I think my younger me that wanted to be a dentist would be quite shocked of why, <laughs> what I ended up doing. Something that surprised me about environmental science is the amount of collaboration that you do. Sometimes uh, other disciplines can bring a completely different perspective that you didn't even consider uh, as an option. ¿Cuál es la experiencia más interesante que has tenido en, en tu carrera? Ahora tengo que pensar una. <laughs> My name's Riley. I am an undergraduate student studying the Bachelor of Environment and Sustainability. And I'm about to start my honours into bushfire research. My name is uh, Marta Llebra and I'm an associate professor at the Fenner School of Environment and Society and the School of Engineering. I'm here today to interview my future self and find out what it's like in the career that I'm interested in going into. At a dinner party, how do you explain what you do? Well, um, I use uh, remote sensing technologies. So these are sensors that they measure things from the distance about the environment to provide tools for emergency responders. So I provide information about fire risk, uh, where fires are located and, and what are the impacts of the fires in the environment. What did you think your job was going to be like compared to what it actually is? It depends on how long back I go. <laughs> Yes, um, when I first start, started to study environmental sciences, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I didn't have any idea on what my job mm. would look like. Yeah. <laughs> because environmental science is so diverse that you mm. can do so many different things. And yeah. I was so passionate about everything that I didn't have a clear idea of my ideal job. When I decided to do a PhD and become an academic, my idealization of the job was similar to what I'm doing now, but I didn't know it was probably as demanding. So an academic job is very, very demanding, and perhaps I wasn't aware of how demanding it can be. You had like a lot of wide range of interests within environmental science. How did you kind of narrow down to which one you wanted to pursue further? By trial and error, I <laughs> will say. So when I was studying environmental science, I volunteered or took um, little research assistant jobs in many different areas. For example, I was once volunteering in a hospital, managing the residuals uh, of the hospital. Um, I was once in a microbiology lab, analyzing the honey of different bees. So yeah, trial and error, trying different things and then finding out what I'm more passionate about. Do you think yourself at age 20 would be surprised by where you've ended up? My younger me that wanted to be a dentist would be quite shocked <laughs> of why, what I ended up doing. Perhaps my younger me that was studying already environmental science uh, wouldn't be that surprised, but I think, yeah, quite proud. Yeah, so I guess like what's been the role of collaboration in your career and how have you found, especially interdisciplinary collaboration, playing a part in your research? Yeah, I think it's super important, yeah, because uh, environmental problems are so broad and so complex that you really need to work with multidisciplinary teams. And I found it very, very good as well, because again, you learn a lot. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, other disciplines can bring a completely different perspective that you didn't even consider uh, as an option. Some areas of environmental science and natural resource management can be very male dominated. Mm. So how have you found the experience as a woman in those spaces? Yeah, look, um, it is true. It's uh, very male dominated, uh, especially in the bush farm management uh, area. Overall, I, I think I have had a good experience. Of course, it's, it's always a bit uncomfortable when you go to a room and there is no any female other than you. Uh, it's something I have uh, learned uh, to live with and it's something that is improving mm -hmm. so it's little by little you see that that situation is is improving and there are more women uh, doing uh, bush farm management but it's true that uh, sometimes um, white men are uh, heard more than a female researcher. Testing my knowledge, testing <laughs> my knowledge. <laughs> ¿Cuál es la experiencia más interesante que has tenido en, en tu carrera? 
La experiencia más interesante que he tenido en mi carrera creo que ha sido eh, eh, el desarrollo de esta misión de satélite. Nunca en mi carrera pensé que yo iba a estar diseñando un satélite. I think I have talked a lot now, so I, I'm curious to know what have you learned over the last uh, few minutes we've been talking and what have you, what's your main takeaway? Yeah, well, I found it really interesting to talk to you and I think, um, you know, it's great to see that you can have um, kind of all the elements of a career that really interest you. I think, um, you know, it's really, I've always really wanted to do a lot of field work um, and then I also am really interested in, you know, in overseas like collaborations and also you know, practical implementation. Um, and it's been really interesting to hear how you've kind of incorporated a lot of different elements into your own research and your own career. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, just really how how the research you do does have a practical, you know, beneficial impact and that you can be directly involved in creating and developing that impact mm -hmm. throughout your career. Yeah, thank you so much for letting me interview you today. I've really enjoyed hearing about your career and I hope that, you know, I'll be able to take what you've said on board. Thank you. I'm sure your future self will be even better. <laughs> <laughs>